Germany began equipping the Weasel I airborne tank in the late 1980s. This small military vehicle, weighing less than 3 tons, has good combat capabilities. Like other armored vehicles, it has developed into a complete family and has become the main equipment of the German airborne forces. Today, these Weasel I airborne tanks have been in service for about 30 years. Although they can still serve for a period of time after refurbishment and maintenance, the development of the next generation of airborne tanks also needs to be followed up. Germany demonstrated the GSD Lua airborne tank to the outside world this year, which will replace the Weasel Eye as the new generation's main force in the future. The GSD Lua, like the Weasel Eye, is a lightweight airborne tank that has been extensively discussed in recent years. The role of armored vehicles is to improve the mobility of airborne forces and strengthen firepower output. Although it has not been finalized and its weight is unknown, it appears to be similar to the Weasel Eye based on the prototype. The body of the GSD Luwa is similar to an armored vehicle. The two-person crew does not sit side by side, but is connected in series like a fighter jet. The front and sides of the crew compartment are equipped with bulletproof glass windows, providing a 180 degrees panoramic view for the crew. The person sitting in the front seems to be the driver, and the person in the back is the weapon operator, who operates the weapon through a console with a remote control handle and a display. The armored vehicle does not have a hinged structure, but adopts a design with single-sided dual tracks. Each set of tracks has three bogey wheels. The front set of tracks is in the shape of a parallelogram, and the rear set of tracks is in the shape of an inverted trapezoid. Although this design makes the vehicle's suspension more complex, the advantage is that it can still maintain a certain level of mobility if one set of tracks is damaged, preventing it from becoming immobilized. Unlike the Weasel Eye airborne tank, the GSD Luwa is equipped with an Asgard unmanned combat module. This flat unmanned turret can be equipped with a 25mm or 30mm cannon, or a 40mm automatic grenade launcher. There are electro-optical devices installed on the right side of the cannon. The cannon can fire armor-piercing rounds and has a certain anti-armor combat capability. In terms of armored protection, it should be similar to the Weasel airborne tank, able to withstand conventional rifle ammunition and artillery shell fragments. Large caliber machine guns can threaten the tank. The advantage of light armor is that the tank is lightweight, making it easier to transport and deploy. In the future, it is not ruled out that equipment such as light-slash-heavy machine guns, recoilless guns, anti-tank missiles, anti-aircraft missiles, and mortars may be installed in the turret to meet different operational requirements. Additionally, it can be modified into a small command vehicle or a medical vehicle. The GSD Lua also proposes the concept of a wheel chassis, replacing the four tracks with a six-wheel structure, which can give the tank higher highway speed. Contractors showcased the vehicle, weapon systems, etc. this year, and will continue to inspect and evaluate them next year. It is unlikely to be finalized and put into service in the short term. It is said that the refurbished and upgraded Weasel Airborne Tank will serve until around 2030, so the GSD Lua has plenty of time to improve its work.